The City of Miami Springs Police Department recently installed an automated license plate recognition system on the incoming bridge where Canal Street meets Curtis Parkway. A mobile device has already been in operation for a little over a year. What this device does, it, it gives us information on the different vehicles that these cameras pick up on. They have the ability of an incredibly fast uh, pace or speed capture the image of the license tag and at the same time look up information about those license tags. For example, if we're looking for a particular vehicle that might have been used in a robbery, a red Cadillac, uh, the license tag 123, we can put that information in the system and it will tell us, yes, it passed by this bridge or one of our vehicles that has a system mounted and it spotted that vehicle in a parking lot or something of that nature. The function of an ALPR is to photograph license plates from the front or rear of the vehicle in public spaces and in plain view, a constitutionally protected activity. It captures every vehicle, but if we're not looking for that tag, then nothing comes of it. If the city of Hialeah has a robbery with license tag ABC123 and that red Cadillac happens to drive through one of our cameras, Bing, it hits, alerts us. But we also have the ability of setting the parameters. For example, I don't want to inundate the officers with just expired tags. I'm capturing vehicles that are either wanted for a crime, have been used in a crime, are a stolen car, and at the same time it's also automatically running the information on that tag. Who is it registered to? And if that person is a wanted a felon or a wanted criminal has a, an arrest warrant or something of that nature. According to the International Association of Chiefs of Police, law enforcement agencies throughout the nation and around the world are increasingly adopting these automated license plate recognition systems, in short ALPR, to enhance their enforcement and investigative capabilities, expand their collection of relevant data, and expedite the time-consuming process of physically comparing vehicle license plates with lists of stolen, wanted, and other vehicles of interest. It also enhances the officer's safety. If an officer stops a car without having this information prior, much more dangerous situation. This particular automated license plate reader has the ability to capture clear images at night using infrared lighting. Although this is the only one stationary system we have in our city so far, the chief plans on implementing a few more in the near future. This technology has made way for security on a big scale, such as national security on airports and ports, special events, and even counterterrorism and organized crime. For more information, you can visit our website at www.miamisprings-fl.gov. This is Anna Hume with City News and Events for the City of Miami Springs.